guess how long it's been since I have metal detected? Six months. Unacceptable. So, yes, I have relocated to the beautiful city of London in the United Kingdom from Canada, where you can detect anywhere, pretty much, um, to a country where you can detect nowhere, pretty much. Um, so it really sucks, and I haven't been very good about like trying to get permissions anywhere or going out on you know paid hunts just because I don't have a car. I'm lazy. I've had other stuff on the go, like quitting my job, starting up my own company, stuff like that. Um, so it hasn't, whoa, it hasn't really been a priority for me. Although I do really miss it. So what I do um, instead right now is I go mudlarking which is like the equivalent of beach combing. And I do that on the River Thames, which is the river that flows uh, through London. It's a very ancient river and you can find a lot of cool things. However, you have to do it with your eyes only unless you have like a special permit. You also, you also need a permit to do it with your eyes only, actually, when you get that from the Port of London quite easily. But um, yeah, so I've been doing that instead and it is really nice. Like I do love walking along the river and just like looking for stuff and usually it's just uh, pipe stems and things like that but occasionally I do find something cool so I thought I would just show you guys if you don't want to see this video by all means don't watch it if you're not interested but I do have a few things that I thought would be cool to share with you and show you um, I found one silver item eyes only really cool I was very excited about that uh, I can show you that first so that you can just see that and then click away if you want to um, and then the rest is just like odds and ends so yeah let's uh, get right into it all right so as promised this is my best find um, it's an Indian token of some sort I think it's from like the 1940s or so and it is uh, pure silver um, and you can see like a goddess and a swan in the background um, with some Indian writing and stuff. And here's the other side. Um, yeah, really cool. Really, really cool to find this. So um, yeah, that was my best find. And now I'll show you all the coins I found. These are the British coins I found. Pretty lame, right? I'm not very good at looking with my eyes. And then I found one rupee. Pretty awesome. One rupee. It's even got a little thumbs up, um, just because it's telling me how awesome I am for having found it. Uh, Euro. And then I did find, this is pretty cool. This is a 1944 farthing. I found this in my backyard, actually. It's a Second World War farthing. It's got King George the something, King George the Sixth on there. It's old bottle stoppers. I think these are quite cool. I know a lot of people collect these. I like them. I'm keeping them. I almost forgot I found a glass one as well. I love these. They're so cool. Um, oh shit. More goodies. So some kind of leash. A mother of pearl button. Two teeth. Not sure what animal, but two teeth. This is um, something off the back of a bullet of some sort. I looked it up. Can't remember. Anyways, it's, it's quite old. I think this is from like maybe off the... Um, off a walking cane or a stick or something like that. That's what I think this is. Yeah, some some corny stuff as well. I guess they got chucked into the river after someone broke up. This is an old knife, an old pocket knife. Lock, keys, uh, Titanic, Belfast, part of a souvenir of some sort. A wooden ball and uh, red dye. Oh, and then this. This is uh, this was interesting. It's um, the South West Middlesex Crematorium Board. Yeah. Um, and then it's got a number on the back. Um, I've been meaning to get a hold of them and ask them what this is, because these guys have a website. So I might actually write to them and say, WTF, guys, what is this? I found this in the Thames. Tell me all the things because um, I want to know what this is. This is very cool. These are all the pipe stems and pipe bowls that I found. I haven't found a full pipe yet, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I'm keeping them all just because they're cool. Pottery. More pottery. Even more pottery. So much pottery. 
I kind of tried to separate them. I put all the blue and white and green and white stuff in here, like colored stuff. And then in here I have like the ones that have non-colored things, but with designs and like with writing. Um, I really like the pieces with writing. They're really cool. And like, just like the, you know, I don't know. I don't really know how I've separated them. And I do want to make something with these bits and pieces eventually. One day when I have time, I will do that. Random thing. Don't know, maybe it's a cap. I mean, it looks like it's screwed onto something. I don't know, I use it as a little holder in my windowsill. Um, round thing. This might just be a rock. I don't know, I like it. Um, piece of broken uh, pottery and then marbles and shells these are oyster shells so apparently um you know oysters were eaten quite a lot in the past and the oysters were dumped into the thames the sh or rather the shells were dumped into the thames and they still survive today oh and this is a little oil pot someone on social media told me that i also have some stuff in my yard that i've placed out here like some old um bottles and uh, a pint glass and some old glass. I put all my old glass in here and then that piece of that tile back there. So um, that's kind of it guys. I hope you like that and I will do some more. If I find any more stuff I'll put up another video. So there you have it. All my Thames finds. Uh, I'm really sorry if the video was a little bit too exciting um, for your taste, I know um, next time I will try to make a more subdued video. Um, yeah, so for now I bid you farewell and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!